In a healthcare environment, sterility and its maintenance, together with the prevention of cross infection, are critical factors in patient care. A sterile barrier system is vital in the fight against healthcare associated infections. The packaging around medical devices is known as a sterile barrier system, commonly referred to as an SPS. It provides a microbial barrier, allows devices to be sterilized, and maintains sterility up to the point of use. There are a variety of sterile barrier systems designed for different applications. These include header bags, pouches and reels, preformed and semi-rigid peelable trays, paper bags, and sterilization wrap. Header bags are large sealed bags made usually from transparent films with one area made from a permeable microbial barrier material to allow sterilization gases to enter. Header bags are used for large items like gowns and drapes as well as for kits or sets of devices for typical operating procedures. If several items are packed in a header bag, they are normally in a tray or wrapped in a drape so they can be removed in one step. Pouches and reels are made from plastic film and a permeable microbial barrier material which is typically a medical grade paper or a spun bonded polyolefin non-woven which allows access to the sterilizing agent. Pouches are commonly used as packaging for single instruments, small sets of instruments and single use medical products. Pouches are also available pre-formed or in a reel which allows individual cutting to length. Products with gusseted film allow for larger volumes. Preformed and semi-rigid trays come in a variety of sizes and materials depending on the type of product being packed. The formed tray is typically lidded with a permeable barrier material such as a spun bonded polyolefin non-woven to allow access by sterilizing gases. Paper bags are used by some hospitals for similar applications to pouches. They can be used either on their own for procedure packs or as part of the contents of a wrapped tray or basket for holding instruments used during an operating procedure. Bags can either be heat sealed or sometimes the top of the bag is folded over three times to create a barrier to microbes and then sealed with sterilization tape. Sterilization wrap comes in a number of different weights, colors and sizes. Wraps can be made of various materials ranging from 100% crepe paper to non-woven products such as synthetic reinforced papers and 100% polypropylene material. Wrap is often folded around trays and instruments so as to create a tortuous path which creates a barrier to microbes and enables a septic opening. This can be achieved in a number of ways. The wrapping method shown here is the one used at the Martini Hospital in Groningen. Most wraps are secured by the use of sterilization autoclave tape or masking tape. All medical devices are sterilized in their sterile barrier system before they're used. There are a variety of sterilization methods used. These include irradiation, indicated on the label as R, ethylene oxide gas, indicated as EO, and steam. The chosen sterilization method must be compatible with both the device and the barrier system. A medical device, once sterilized, must remain sterile until it's used. Barrier systems are able to keep medical products sterile for years, provided they do not get damaged. The sterile device and its barrier system must be transported and stored according to recommended conditions. A septic presentation describes the opening and handling of a sterile product to prevent microbial contamination and maintain sterility. 
The ability to present a product in an aseptic manner is a key feature considered in the design of the sterile barrier system. Aseptic techniques are adapted to the specific design of the barrier system to prevent microbial contamination of the sterile device or the sterile field from any potential source, including people, materials and equipment. The sterile field is the area around the patient and the sterile instruments and is typically created using sterile wraps and drapes. In the operating theatre preparation area, proper aseptic techniques normally require two interacting people. One person wears sterile gloves, a face mask and gown, and is often referred to as the scrub nurse. A second person, appropriately dressed, opens the sterile barrier system and presents the products to the scrub nurse in an aseptic manner. Movement should be minimized and the activity should take place in an appropriately controlled environment. Ensure the integrity of the barrier system by looking for any potential damage, for example tears and punctures, open channels in the seals or seal failures. Consider the stress put on parts of the pack by the device. Preformed and semi-rigid trays should be free of dents, cracks or splits. If packaging is damaged, do not use the product and report it. The orientation of the device in the barrier system must allow the correct end of the product to be exposed for handling and removal during aseptic presentation. Pay attention to the label, symbols and any sterilization indicators to ensure that it's the correct device, that it is within its use-by date and has been sterilized. Look also for any indication of specific warnings or actions required. Check the correct positioning of the non-sterile person opening the barrier system relative to the scrub nurse and the sterile field. This is important for maintaining sterility during opening and transfer of the product. The person opening the package should be positioned with sufficient distance from the scrub nurse to avoid any accidental contact, but close enough to minimize movement with the open package and to allow for proper transfer. Positioning may be different depending on local best practices, but it should be done in a way to minimize the risk of losing sterility. The seals of the packs should be peeled slowly and evenly, starting at the specified position, depending on the design of the sterile barrier system. This is usually at the chevron end, or may be indicated with arrows. For large packs, the best approach is often to start peeling first on both edges, so that the last peeling is the middle of the seal. You should respect the direction of peel indicated by a peel symbol. Minimize the creation of fibers and particles without tearing or delamination. Bursting or tearing the barrier system will result in a high risk of contamination. Peel the flap completely and fold it backwards. Maintain the position of the product to avoid contact with unsterile areas of the barrier system, including the seal area. Arms and body should not enter the area above the barrier system and an opening should be created large enough to allow the product to be removed without touching unsterile areas. For certain products, for example small devices, it may be necessary to tip the product carefully into the hands of the scrub nurse. Large, heavy packs may have to be supported on a table whilst opening. To enable aseptic opening of a heat sealed paper bag, it's recommended that scissors are used and a cut made from the side of the bag up towards the bottom middle of the heat sealed area. This should then be repeated on the opposite side, leaving a pointed center. Hold each side of the pointed corner and roll your hands down, exposing the instrument that needs to be removed. At the moment of the transfer, both people should be facing each other. The non-sterile person should not reach over the sterile field. The device is transferred to the scrub nurse and placed on the sterile field. 
Double packaging is sometimes used in order to further minimize the risk of contamination during the opening process. For example, for large products or where there are several devices in a tray. In this case, the inner pack is treated as a sterile device. The inner pack may be opened in the preparation room by the scrub nurse or in the operating theater. The sterile barrier system is discarded according to local procedures and regulations. Healthcare associated infection is a major issue in patient safety in countries with well developed regulatory and healthcare systems and even more so in developing countries. It's clear that state of the art techniques for hygiene, cleaning, disinfection and sterility are of critical importance. Correct aseptic opening and presentation of the sterile medical device contained within a sterile barrier system is essential in the fight to protect patients against healthcare associated infections.